Tell you what you're doing. Um, we're we trying are, to get this to light. Yeah. Once it goes, so it don't put it in until well. that cold. And right. How could you modify it to make it easier to light? Uh, we could probably add some <laughs> holes in the side that we could cover later, just so it could draw more air inside. And you have a screen in there? Um, we do have a screen. Yeah. But it looks like it's difficult to get the burning material under the screen. Yeah, we So you were able to lower. light a piece of wax cardboard and stick that under the screen. Yeah. And we have you're, you're burning wood chips. At the moment. Yes, but we're going Hopefully to... Hopefully we're going to switch to pellets. And then we're going to see, once the fire gets going, it. how fast uh -huh. the snow melts. And in the back of your combustion chamber, we see a tin cam. What's the purpose of that secondary inner tin cam? Inside of that, we've got um, sawdust, which we will bake into biochar, basically. And the gaseous emissions from that baking come out into the combustion chamber, and you hope to combust them. And then on top, you have, what's this vent up here? Oh, uh, that's, we're going to... Put wood pellets in, so we can oh, keep the shield up here, so... Very cool. It's and so also you have a heat exchanger plate yep. up on top yep. here, and you're going to try uh, cooking on that? Yeah, yep. we're going to try melting snow. One way to increase the heat transfer from here into the can of snow uh -huh. would be to put a hole up here uh -huh. that is just a little bit smaller than this, Okay. and that way you'll get direct flameage. On the, on the bottom of the supper can, okay. because direct contact is much better for heat transfer. That's a good idea. Oh! Thank you, guys. Thank you. And uh, can I have you guys introduce yourselves, please? I am William Odell Monley from West Berlin, Vermont. And I'm Augie Stevens from Waterbury, Vermont. Keep burning, guys. <laughs> <laughs>